BestBookBits.com presents 50 Words to Your Dreams, Chapter 7, Time. Do you want to know how to manifest your dreams? Do you want to know the simple, straightforward, no bullshit path to take your dream out of your head into reality? This 50 chapter video series titled 50 Words to Your Dreams has the answers. Researched for over 10 years and compiled into video, written, and audio format for easy consumption, this series will empower you with the know-how and tools you need to manifest your dreams into reality. Created by myself, Michael George Knight, the man behind the website bestbookbits.com and the YouTube channel Best Book Bits. This series is a wealth of knowledge condensed down into 50 bite-sized pieces. So without further ado, I bring you chapter 7 of 50 of the series, 50 Words to Your Dreams, Time. Time. What is time? Time is defined as the indefinite continued progress of existence and events in the past, present, and future, regarded as a whole. Time is one of the most difficult properties of our universe to understand. Time is a primary concept and not made up of or dependent on anything else. I like to see time as only a unit of measurement to calculate the seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, years, and decades that makes up our life. We all use this measurement of time in our life. How can we not? We get stamped when we are born and stamped when we die with time. It is all about the dash on our gravestone. This precious gift of time that we've been blessed with to live and experience life. How you spend your life is up to you. It's your life and your time. What will you be remembered for and what will you leave behind when you are gone? Really think about this question of legacy. Think about the legacy you benefit from today by the people before you that have come and gone. What mark will you leave on this earth when you are gone? Time Management 101 Time Management Rule 101 is there is no escaping time. There is only time. The clock doesn't stop tick-tocking. The sun continues to rise each morning and we are reminded every 12 months that we're getting older and aging. We cannot escape time. We can only use time. We all spend 24 hours a day, no exceptions. What makes us all different is how we spend that 24 hours. Answer the following questions. How do you spend your time? What time do you wake up in the morning? What time do you go to bed at night? How much time do you sleep? How much time do you spend out of the house at work? How much time do you spend with your loved ones, family and friends? How much time do you Netflix and chill? How much time do you read and learn? How much time... Do you play and have fun? How much time do you work out? If you take the time to answer the questions, you will come up to the realization that there aren't many free hours left in the day once you wake up, shower, get a little bricky, go to work, work the job, come home, get a little dinner, spend time with the family, watch a little TV and go to bed, only to do it again the next day. If you want to realize your dreams and goals, you will have to make room for them in your life, period, full stop. You make room for them by scheduling what you do and when you do it. For example, I myself am a morning person and love waking up a few hours before my wife and at least three hours before I start work. This habit has allowed me to get at least two hours of deep work in a day. Two hours a day times a week is 14 hours. In a year, that's 738 hours. And in 10 years, that's the equivalent of 303 days of deep focused work on my goals and dreams. If you're a night person like some, flip the script. Two hours a night after dinner and spending time with the family, go to work on your goals and dreams. Map out how you spend your time, then plan your days in advance by creating blocks of time in your life for the things that you can do that moves the needle forward in your life. If you can't create time or manage time, you have no life. If you can't create time or manage time, you have no life. Get in control of your life by controlling what you do with your time. Prioritize your goals in your schedule and work on them first things first. As Stephen R. Covey says, fill your bucket with the big rocks first or you'll never get them in at all. Quotes on time. A lifetime consists of years, months, weeks, and days. The basic unit of a lifetime is a single day. And a single day in our careers is made up of certain acts that each of us must perform. Earl Nightingale. A man's life is only a vapor that vanishes in an instant. One should spend his life doing which he enjoys. As short as it is, it is foolish to spend it doing only the things one hates. And in the end, it's not the years in your life that count. It's the life in your years. As for time, all men have it in abundance. 
Both the poor and the wealthy have the same 24 hours of opportunity. Time favors nobody. Today merely says, here I am. What are you going to do with me? Create large chunks of time. Organize your day around large blocks of time where you can concentrate for extended periods on your most important tasks. Distinguish between the urgent and the important. Don't put off living to next week, next month, next year, or next decade. The only time you're ever living is in this moment. Don't spend major time on minor things. Don't spend major time on minor things. Don't wait. The time will never be just right. Each of us must pause frequently to remind ourselves that the clock is ticking. Time offers opportunity, but demands a sense of urgency. Every day is a bank account, and time is our currency. No one is rich. No one is poor. We've all got 24 hours each. Every time you wake up, ask yourself, what good things am I going to do today? Remember that when the sun goes down at sunset, it will take a part of your life with it. Find out how you are currently using your time. Keep a time log of your activities for at least a month, and at the end of that period, analyze how you used your time. Greatness comes in small, bite-sized pieces, one day at a time. In fact, it's the little things that make up the big things in life. How you spend your time is how you spend your life. I cannot make my days longer, so I strive to make them better. I must govern the clock, not be governed by it. If you agree that time is money, then you should inventory and protect your time just like you would anything that is valuable. If you don't make the time to work on creating the life you want, you're eventually going to be forced to spend a lot of time dealing with a life you don't want. If you love life, don't waste time, for time is what life is made up of. In every day, there are 1,440 minutes. That means we have 1,440 daily opportunities to make a positive impact. In interviews with very elderly people, people who realize that their remaining time is drawing to a close, you frequently hear them say, I waited too long to start living. In terms of time effectiveness, there are two broad options we can consider. The first is to identify our top 10 time wasters and try to eliminate them. The second option is to become wholly goal-orientated. Isn't it funny how day by day nothing changes, but when you look back at everything is different. It is my feeling that time ripens all things. With time, all things are revealed. Time is the father of truth. It's been my observation that most people get ahead during the time that others waste. It's not how much time you have, it's how you choose to spend the time. It's not owning the TV that makes it expensive, but watching it makes it expensive. What else could you do with the time? What if you took the television time and use that to gain some extra skills? No telling what will happen to your income. It's not the hours you put into the work that counts, it's the work you put into the hours. Lack of time is actually a lack of priorities. Life is not just a passing of time, it is a collection of experiences and their intensity and their frequencies. Make the decision now that you're controlling time and time is no longer controlling you. Change your mind about time and decide that you have plenty of it. Become a master of the clock, not a slave to it. Money can always be replaced, but time can't. Most of the successful men I've met are absolutely ruthless with their time. Much may be done in those little shreds and patches of time which every day produces and which most men throw away. Never treat time like you have an unlimited supply. One of the best ways to start regaining control of our time is to learn that the most effective time management word, do you know what it is? The word is no. Learn to say no. One of the very worst uses of time is to do something very well that need not be done at all. Remember, the pyramids were built one block at a time. A great life and a great career is built one task and often one part of a task at a time. Sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Success depends on how I use my time. The African belief is that time is simply the life process. The generosity of your time is the most valuable gift you can give. The old year is gone. Let the dead past bury its own dead. The new year has taken possession of the clock of time, or hailed the duties and possibilities of the coming 12 months. The only difference between a rich person and a poor person in has how they used their time. The way you spend your time is a result of the way you see your time and the way you really see your priorities. The whole of life is but a moment of time. 
It is our duty, therefore, to use it, not to misuse it. Those who cannot appreciate time have have the most money problems. Time changes all things, including the human heart. Time calls, time clarifies. No mood can be maintained quite unaltered through the course of hours. Time crumbles things. Everything grows old under the power of time and is forgotten through the lapse of time. Time heals what reason cannot. Time is free, but it's priceless. You can't own it, but you can use it. You can't keep it, but you can spend it. Once you've lost it, you can never get it back. Time is like a precious jewel. It must be guarded well and worn with discretion, or you will suddenly find it has been stolen. Time is more valuable than money. You can get more money, but you can't get more time. Time is the coin of your life. It is the only coin you have, and only you can determine how it can be spent. Be careful least you let other people spend it for you. Time is what we want most, but what we used worst. Time is the most valuable asset, so look for ways to leverage it whenever possible. Time properly invested is worth a fortune. Time wasted can be devastation. Time invested can perform miracles, so invest yours. Tomorrow, a noun. A mystical land where 99% of human productivity, motivation, and achievement is stored. We always have enough time, if we will, but use it all right. What is your basic resource? It's not money, not brains, not who you know. Your basic resource is time. Unless you use your time well, you'll never get a glimpse of what your potential is. What time, they would ask. Well, of course, it's now. The time is now. What else is there? What would you do? How would you spend your time if you learned today that you only had six months to live? When things don't happen right away, just remember, it takes six months to build a Rolls Royce and 13 hours to build a Toyota. While nine to five and what happens on the job is important, what happens five to nine off the job is infinitely more important. Year's end is neither an end nor a beginning, but a going on, with all the wisdom that experience can instill in us. Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a gift of God, which is why we call it the present. You don't have the time and money because you don't invest the time and money. You exist in time, but you belong to eternity. You know one hour a night adds up quickly to be a really enormous amount of time. Time is one of the few things man can't buy more of, and it's a good idea to use it all, it as wisely as we know how. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice, and most importantly, have the courage to follow your own heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. And that's a wrap on Chapter 7, Time, 50 Words to Your Dreams by Michael George Knight. Let me know your thoughts on Chapter 7, and for personal, free, one-on-one coaching, connect with myself at coaching at bestbookbits.com. For hundreds of video, written, and audio book summaries, check out our website, bestbookbits.com, and stay tuned for Chapter 8 in the series, Knowledge. Thanks for watching and listening, and have yourself an amazing day. Take care.